In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to continue our fractions module, and this is lesson 5-1-11b, dividing fractions and whole numbers. Once again, we'll be continuing our word problem series. You'll see this standard featured in this video walkthrough, and we'll be using this worksheet. You can go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our fractions video walkthroughs, and it's entitled fractions module. Lesson number 5-1-11b. We have some directions. Solve the following fractions word problem. Show your work using numbers, pictures, and words. Let's take a look at this problem. At the end of the day, the Pythagoras Pizza Shop had two-thirds of a pizza left over. The six employees each took home the same amount of leftover pizza pie. How much pizza did each employee take home? Right off the bat, you're probably noticing that at the end of this word problem or story problem, you can see there is a question. And within that question, you're probably thinking, yes, that's our math job. Very good. We have to determine how much pizza did each employee take home. We'll go back to the first sentence and tease out any math clues that we have in there. At the end of the day, the Pythagoras Pizza Shop had two-thirds. And you're probably thinking, ah, definite math clue. And if you're thinking two-thirds was a math clue, excellent. So they had two-thirds of a pizza left over. So we're starting with two-thirds of a pizza. Next sentence. The six employees each took home the same amount of leftover pizza pie. Did you hear that? Six employees. Very good. If you're thinking that, good for you. The six employees each, six employees each took home the same, same amount of leftover pizza pie. Same amount of pizza. So, how much did each employee take home? Let's take a look at the mathematical method first of all. We're dealing with two-thirds first this time. In the previous example, we had a whole number first. However, we're starting with two-thirds. So we had two-thirds of a pizza pie left over. And the six employees each took home the same amount of, uh, same amount of leftover pie. So we're dividing two-thirds by six employees. Two-thirds of a pizza divided by six people. Now, we've also noticed in previous lessons that we can rewrite the whole number, that six, as a fraction. And when you want to take a whole number and put it into fractional form, you just simply put six over one with one being your denominator. So there you go. We can, we'll do that. We have six over one. And you can read that as a, a fraction top to bottom. Six divided by one would be six. So therefore it's the same. So now we've also noticed in our previous example that we can also rewrite this problem to be two thirds times. Now take a look. We're using inverse operation here. So multiplication is the inverse operation of division. So in order to do this correctly, we have to invert that second fraction, which was formerly the whole number six. So now instead of six over one, we have one sixth. Now we can multiply. This is something we've seen. We, we're familiar with this. So now we can simply multiply those numerators. Two times one would be two. And the denominator, three times six, you're probably thinking 18, if you're thinking that. Good for you. Nice job. So now we have two eighteenths. Well, I'm noticing that they're both even numbers, so we could make an equivalent fraction to that simply by dividing by two. What you do to the numerator, you must do to the denominator. So essentially you're dividing by that two over two there. You can see that. 
anytime you're multiplying or dividing by um, and same number on the numerator and denominator, it's really a fraction equivalent to one, isn't it? So there's the, the it's really in essence the identity property working there. So two divided by two would be one. And then 18 divided by two would be nine. So you can see that. So we'll get that in there permanently. So we've got two divided by two was one. 18 divided by two was nine. So really, each person took home one ninth of a pizza. We'll take some time to put that in a complete sentence in a little bit. But now we're going to take the same numbers, the same numbers, two thirds divided by six. We've got that. We've got two thirds divided by six. And we want to show that in picture or a visual fraction form. Two thirds divided by six. You see that? Two thirds divided by six. So now we can go ahead and why don't we try a rectangular rectangular area model first. We've got two thirds. Now I'm thinking, okay, well, my denominator, original denominator up there, two thirds, tells me I have to divide our pizza up into three equal parts. And then we have two thirds. So I'm going to shade that in a different color. So we have two thirds, one third right there, one third, and then we have two thirds, two thirds, and yeah, that definitely matches what we had up here. So we have two thirds right there, and then down here we have two thirds. Okay, now we need to divide that among six people. Well, how can we do that? Well, let's take a look. All right, first of all, I'm going to divide it, or, you know, subdivide it. So I have six rows going across we had we had columns going up and down originally you can see those here columns going up and down one third two thirds three thirds now i'm going to subdivide it horizontally kind of like making six rows across let's do that now okay you can see it coming together Aha, uh -huh. now we've got six rows going across, so we've subdivided it by six. Now, if you look at that original, that original section right there, that original section, if you take a look at that, and you divided that up into six equal parts, you could see that person one right here would have two out of, well, what would that be? Well, two, let, let's take a look at that. So each person would have this amount right here. Two, two out of what? Well, if you take a look at the whole pizza, now we can see that we, we divided it first by three and then again by six. So it's a three times six or three by six rectangular array or area model. So three times six is 18. So our new denominator would be 18 because it takes, we've got 18 equal parts there in, in that pizza. And each person would take home two 18s. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's one way to solve it. We, we found out with our mathematical model that that does equal one ninth. And an easier way to view one ninth would be to show a circular model and then original, like, let's start again. We've got two thirds divided by six. So we'll, we'll divide that up into thirds. I'm moving a little too fast for you. Feel free to pause the video and resume whenever you're ready. Okay, so now we've got this pizza divided into three equal parts. And then we, we, can, we can shade in two thirds. That's, that's what they had left over at the end of the day. The Pythagoras Pizza Shop had two-thirds of a pizza left over. The employees decided to take some home. Since there were six people, they would really share it. 
and divide it equally. Okay. So now we've got two thirds, and we have to divide that up into, or up, divide it among six people, really. So I'm going to take a look at this and see how I can do this. Well, each each section I'm thinking would have to be divided into six equal parts. Okay. All right, there would be six equal parts there. And then six equal parts there. And we have to continue this pattern even in the, the space that, or the piece that's missing. Divide that up into six equal parts. And now you can see that, again, we have 18 parts to make up that that whole pizza, just like we had down below. All right, down here we had eight, 18 as our denominator. We've got now we have 18 equal parts in our pizza, and we want to share them among six people. So I kind of think of it this way. So person one would have this slice and this slice. Person two would have this slice and this slice, and so forth. We can keep going with this pattern. Person three. Person four, employee five, employee number six would be over here. And you can see what's going on here. Now, if we go ahead and, and look at that, you can see that each person would have two eighteenths. Person four, two eighteenths. Person five, two eighteenths. Person six, two eighteenths. And if you continue, continue this pattern, looking at groupings of two eighteenths, you could see that you would have now nine equal parts, and each person would get one ninth. You can see that. Right here, you can add this one person would have two eighteenths or one ninth. So each person would have two eighteenths or one ninth. So there we go. Now we have one job left to do. We've we've shown our answer in numbers and pictures and now we have to write a complete sentence to to finish our math job. How much pizza did each employee take home? We can finish that off. We'll say each person or employee, you could write, took home one ninth of a pizza or pizza pie. And there you have it. Now we've shown numbers in our mathematical model, pictures in our area models, and words in our complete answer. And that makes a well-rounded answer. And look at that, a happy student. So that was a quick look at dividing fractions and whole numbers. In this case, we started with a fraction and we divided it by a whole number. Thank you for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com and we'll see you again next time.